Oh, no. Winnie, w- oh, no. welcome to Brighouse Town TV and welcome back to Brighouse Town Football Club. I mean, how's everything with you? Yeah, good, mate. Uh, just been hectic a few days, obviously getting everything sorted for, for the weekend. Um, wasn't ideal. That was a, a wait at the time as well. So, But um, yeah, all good and looking forward to the game tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to say, because your first initial conversation was um, at, at the start of the week with Charlie and Chris, the, the co-chairman. I mean, how did that full conversation come about? Yeah, well, Charlie and uh, well, Chris actually just made me aware of the situation, um, rang me sort of unexpectedly, really. I, I have kept in touch with Charlie and Chris uh, since I left the football club, but he uh, he rang me and, and just explained the situation, asked if I'd be interested in coming in and sort of helping out until the end of the season, then taking stock from there, really. So, um, yeah, I was I was away at the time, um, explained, you know, obviously I was out of the country at the time that he had rung me, but um, I once I'd spoke to him and had a little bit more chat and a bit more detail, you know, it seemed a, a good fit for me just to come back in and, and help the club out. And I appreciate the opportunity they gave me as a young young manager and young coach all that all those years ago. It seems a long time ago now. And, um, you know, to come back and help out till the end of the season seemed a good fit for both parties. So looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing the team in action tomorrow and finishing the season as positively as possible. Yeah, obviously, you, you've had some... Uh time away from the club in the last 10 years since you've been away you know you've been at the likes of Osset you've been at Tadcaster you've also been at Sheffield United Academy I mean have you learned quite a lot in that 10 year period that you can bring into these final five games yeah huge amount I think but I'm a, not, you know not a radically different coach manager than I was then but I picked up so many good experiences I mean particularly the Sheffield United experience being head coach of the 18s and being in there on the first team for match prep and learning off the likes of Paul Eckingbottom and um Stuart McCall and Jack Lester and, you know, seeing the, the first team in action as well, working close to them, preparing players for the pro game. Um, you know, that experience working in full-time football was was invaluable, but so the other experience has been as well, you know, working on sides like some Andy Wells, working at Taddy, they've all, you know, been steps in the in the journey. Um, since then, I've got my A licence as well, worked at the FA full-time as a coach developer, so so many more experiences since I was last at the club. Um, so looking to use all those experiences to, to help the team over the next few weeks. Yeah, obviously, you're coming into the team now, Quinny, where, you know, the confidence is really, really low. You know, it's, it's not been the greatest 2024 for Brighouse Town. I mean, what qualities do you think yourself and Steve can bring in to try and rejuvenate these lads? Just the fresh energy, hopefully. And, you know, I think it's important we recognise all the good work that's gone on over the last eight years. Bill's been at the football club a long time and that's an unbelievable achievement for him to be at a football club for such a long period of time. You know, there's not many managers that achieve that level of longevity. So we've got to build on all that work that's been done. Um, I'm going to press the hands to the players, but ultimately they enjoy themselves enjoy this last five games of the season and, you know, let the, the pressure lay on my shoulders. I'm happy to take that. Um, I just want to some tough games coming up, but my expectations are that we're going to win games. Um, that's what we want to do. That's what I've been brought in to do. Um, I'm competitive by nature, so yeah, let's see where these next five games go. But really looking forward to the challenge. I know we've got a lot of really good players within the squad, um, some really good qualities, and it's about maximising those now over these next few weeks. As we said, Quinny, you know, there's obviously some lads in the change room that you know. There's Granty, there's Norma. How much is that going to help you in terms of these next five games? Yeah, just having that you know, common face probably does help a little bit. I've spoken to a couple of players already in the last couple of days just to get their insight on, on where the squad's at and where the team's at. And that's been useful to have those conversations. But yeah, it certainly helps. But, um, and I've seen the team play a couple of times this season as well. So I've um, got a reasonably good understanding of where everyone's at. I'll be tapping into those people that are around it as well. You know, you like to Charlie and Mark and people like that that have, have been around the first team as well to, to get their insight on it. But, um, you know, really looking forward to, to meeting all the players and, and seeing what we can do over these next five games. Yeah, also there's yourself and Steve Wade coming in. Are we expecting any more bodies or is it just be you two guys? Um, possibly, but it's a tricky time of year. A lot of people are tied up at this time of year, so there may be, there may be somebody else that comes in between now and next week, but the priority for me at the moment is just getting a few things on Saturday. Um, 
about making sure that we've you know got a good understanding of perhaps what we would need. I know they can't, you know, our hands are tied in terms of personnel, we certainly can't add to the playing staff, but if I feel like there's somebody that can add value to being around the coaching staff between now and the end of the season, then we'll, we'll go out and do that. But as it currently stands ahead of Saturday's game, it'd be myself, Steve, Mark, and uh, the, the medical staff that are currently in place, plus all the support staff that are around it already. Um, but we'll take stock after Saturday and see where we're at with that. Yeah, obviously, your first game is Cleef on its way before a big West Yorkshire derby at home against Pontefract. I mean, how much are you looking forward to them two as your first two games? Yeah, yeah. You know, look through the fixture list straight away. There's some tough games, isn't there? You know, look through it and people are playing for things and, um, you know, people are chasing playoff spots or trying to stay out of trouble. And it's going to be, um, you know, the focus completely and utterly is on Saturday's game first and foremost. And then we'll look ahead to that game um, on Saturday, next, well, Saturday after. And I think it'll be good next week to be able to get those sessions under the belt and do some work with the players. But again, we've just got to tread carefully with that because. We haven't got a lot of time to implement oh, anything I mean, right? drastically new. We're just going to have to um, prioritise what's going on, make the biggest impact in that short term. Yeah. Sure we'll see how the next few days pan out. Yeah, and then just lastly, Quinny, because I know I've seen internet issues, but just lastly then, so it's been 10 years since you've been in the Brighouse dugout. I mean, what what's your thoughts and emotions going to be come three o'clock tomorrow? Well, I know, I know a lot of people at the club and, you know, I've got some fantastic memories from... The Isle of Wight trip in the FA Trophy, in the FA Vars to, to winning the league, um, developing players, seeing players born to play at high levels and developing the infrastructure around it. You know, I've got some great memories. And, you know, I was, as I said, I was a 27 year old player manager at the time when I was appointed. And the, the club gave me a, an unbelievable opportunity and it's given me an opportunity to go on and do lots of things in the game. And I'll be eternally grateful for that. So if I can pay the club back in any way over this next few weeks, um, you know that that's what I'm coming in to do. Um, you know, it's it's a club that I've got a close attachment with. I know a lot of people are still there, and um, you know we had a great journey while I was there. But that's gone. You know that that's done. It doesn't count for anything. That it's um, yeah, I've got a connection with the club, but it's all about what happens over the next few weeks now. You know, as I, as I've said earlier, the pressure and see where this next five games takes us, but. Um, really looking forward to it. Hopefully, I can I pay the club back for that. Um, that sort of accreditation they gave me all those years ago. Yeah, nice one, Quinny. Thank you for joining us. And I'm sure from myself and everybody at the club, I wish you all the best of in these next five games. Yeah, then I appreciate it. Thank you.